It's so stupid. What's up, people? Another gorgeous day. Sun's out, but unfortunately, the guns aren't out yet. Well, kind of, but not really, you know. <laughs> well, I'll quickly go over what we're doing today. Got to uh, do a little bit of stuff to the tractor and the air seeder. Got a guy coming right away to pick up some seed. First thing on the list, though, is this. My wheelchair. Still pretty floppy. Can't get it to stick out yet, so... I've yet to find a place on the wheelchair to stick that little blue pill, but so I got to find another way of doing it. All I got to do to fix this is just take this uh, bolt out of here and then put it in another hole. I should have four, but there's just the one. I don't know where the other ones went, but we'll make it work. Just enough to get us by and keep going. Only took about half a second to break it. It's only going to take me half a second to fix it. Told you, solid as a rock. Hear that? That's no good. Fixed it. Kind of, sort of. Good enough. Look at Brent working. Trying to look busy. I'm just gonna take a quick look here and see what the field looks like. See what the soil's like. Ooh. That's what we're dealing with. Ooh. Well, you can see here, it's still frozen solid. So greasy. Guess we should start throwing some canola in the ground, eh? Perfect timing, perfect conditions. That's probably why I'm not sinking out of sight here. That, that top layer froze back up. It's been cold the last couple days, so. So I mentioned we seeded some fall rye last, last fall. It was on some ground that had some manure spread with some net wrap in it. And uh, look at, it's all on every single one. You gotta pull it out here. Pull that all off. Cut it off. Of course, it's wrapped super tight, so I don't know, knife it off or burn it maybe. Without wrecking the bearings, I guess. This might be a job. But we also got to go around a couple packers like this. See that? The big old crack in it. See, these got a cap on them here. Just put a cap, wall it all the way around, and it keeps it going. So you don't got to change the whole wheel out. Few things to do yet. Brent changed the camera. Good job, Brent. Holy smokes, would you look at that. Brent's cleaning up his mess. Oh man. This is a first. That, that bugs me. One of our neighbors can use this used oil. Uh, he's got an oil burning furnace for his shop. So he uses that, we just take that to him and drop off the pails and he does what he wants with it, so it's not our problem anymore. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna tidy that up real quick. <laughs> Matt spoken, good looking, love to party and have fun. I don't think we're done blowing shit up today. I don't figure <laughs> you are. They have a heart and a soul and a mind. I've learned from them. But Carol Baskin keeps saying, I can't have these tigers. If he ever had an enemy in his life, it was Carol Baskin. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol at Big Cat Rescue. Carol is the Mother Teresa of cats. We will end the private possession of these cats. This is my way of living, and nobody's gonna tell me any otherwise. Carol has an army of people working for free. She's a plain out hypocrite. She literally does everything that I do. Just trying to get the shop cleaned up so the next few days we'll be running pretty hard delivering seed hopefully. So I don't want anything in the way. Solid effort, Brent. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. We're just gonna see if we can get some product coming out of the bin. We still got some fall rye in there from last year. We should have emptied it, but we didn't. We just parked it because we were in a rush for combining, but so we got the fan running. That's the fan. 
So that fan blows air and then blows the product from the fins to the drill and then it blows, uh, obviously blows out the, into the seed rows. So he's gonna jump up into the cab and then he's gonna uh, engage these rollers so that we can spin these and spin the augers. So the augers will meter the different size of sprockets on here, dictate how much uh, product we're gonna be running out. So if he, uh, if he engages that, then we can turn this crank and then get product to move to the shanks. So we're just gonna check it out and see how much, if it's actually moving right. And so you can hear the rye coming out of the shank now. And Okay, so it did blow some out here. You can see on the ground. So we're just gonna go under there and make sure it came out all the hoses. And so we have the option to engage these different uh, tanks. There's three tanks here. Um, so when we engage it, that sprocket that you saw on the other side will turn, will spin. And then there's actually an auger inside of here that um, depending on which uh, sprocket you have um, will mean how much uh, speed you're gonna be getting and how much product you're actually putting out. So. It comes out, uh, runs through the bottom there, and then comes through this auger, and then drops into this primary hose, which the, the fan is blowing through. So then it takes it up, out this hose, and then takes it across the uh, the drill there and puts it into the furrows. So we just want to make sure that the product is moving, um, and that these sprockets are actually engaging. Yeah, these uh, there's some tighteners on these sprockets that loosen off sometimes, so. Uh, when you're actually in the field so that's why i have the camera set up on the other side so i can make sure everything's still spinning and, and uh, engaged it's shitty when you get do a couple passes and then you realize and maybe the sensor's not working right so then uh, it doesn't send you an alarm to the cab it's all it does have alarms on here and just in case something isn't working but sometimes like even this hose here can pop off and like any of these little uh uh things can come loose and it won't actually sense it. We don't have we don't have Cedro sensors, so if this primary hose comes off, which it did last year, um, it'll just be metering seed out and blowing on the ground here. So, um, got to keep your eye out for every little thing when you're in the tractor there. So yeah, that's why we get the lights and, and the little camera systems, just so that we have an extra set of eyes and we can see all the blind spots from the cab. But it seems to be working for now. Um, we'll hopefully get it out into the field and do a couple of test runs. Not today, but soon. Brit just found a nest. Huh. Look at it. It's using that twine too. That shit gets everywhere. It built a nest inside a nest. Huh. Oh. Had an AC line leaking on the tractor, just brought it into town here, got it fixed overnight. We left it hanging on the door. It's good service, boys. All right, this is what we gotta get done here. So electricians are coming to hook this up to that big old hydro line next week or next couple days. So we can't, we gotta get these all hooked up together with piping before that happens because once that happens, we can't spin this. The, the wires will just, stop it from spinning so we are gonna get those made up put them back on they turned the hydro off in town so we don't have any lights or heat So this is my third time back to town to get these pieces for uh, for that fuel system. This is what we thought we needed. And then we realized that there's some different fittings that didn't quite come apart the way we thought. So I was like, okay, well, I gotta get those parts, come back to town. Phoned up the guys working there and they said, yeah, we got those pieces. And then he started looking at the parts list and he's like, hold on, he's got all the pieces he needs. All we have to do is flip it upside down. 
So now that there's a female end on the bottom and a male on the top. Before we had it like this, which was working, but then we realized it wasn't gonna work. That's all I had to do. Didn't have to come back to town again. If you wanna see more of us, oh, look at my hair. If you wanna see more of us doing stupid stuff on the farm, come back, subscribe, so you follow along. Hit that like button if you, if you care. Anyways, leave a comment. Tell us what we're doing wrong. Tell us what we should do better at. Tell us what we're doing right. Make us feel good. That, that, that's nice. Anyways, peace. I'm out of here. We gotta get, we're just gonna throw these on and then uh, we'll be done. So, catch ya.